Monaco, French pronunciation, comma officially the Principality of Monaco, is a sovereign city-state and microstate on the French Riviera a few kilometers west of the Italian region of Liguria, in Western Europe, on the Mediterranean Sea. It is bordered by France to the north, east and west. The Principality is home to 38,682 residents, of whom 9,486 are Mornegosque nationals, it is widely recognized as one of the most expensive and wealthiest places in the world. The official language of the Principality is French. In addition, Mornegosque, Italian and English are spoken and understood by many residents. With an area of 2.1 square kilometers, it is the second smallest sovereign state in the world, after Vatican City. Its 19,009 inhabitants per square kilometer make it the most densely populated sovereign state in the world. Monaco has a land border of 5.47 kilometers and the world's shortest coastline of approximately 3.83 kilometers, it has a width that varies between 1,700 and 349 meters. The highest point in the state is a narrow pathway named Chemin des Rivoires on the slopes of Mont Agel, in the Les Rivoires ward, which is 161 meters above sea level. The Principality, is about 15 kilometers, from the border with Italy. Its most populous ward is La Votto slash Bas Moulin with a population of 5,443 as of 2008. Through land reclamation, Monaco's land mass has expanded by 20%. In 2005, it had an area of only 1.974 square kilometers. The Principality is governed under a form of constitutional monarchy, with Prince Albert II as head of state, who wields immense political power despite his constitutional status. The Prime Minister, who is the head of government, can be either a Mornegosque or a French citizen, the monarch consults with the government of France before an appointment. Key members of the judiciary in Monaco are detached French magistrates. The House of Grimaldi has ruled Monaco, with brief interruptions, since 1297. The state's sovereignty was officially recognized by the franco mornegosque Treaty of 1861, with Monaco becoming a full United Nations voting member in 1993. Despite Monaco's independence and separate foreign policy, its defense is the responsibility of France. However, Monaco does maintain two small military units. Economic development was spurred in the late 19th century with the opening of the state's first casino, the Monte Carlo Casino, as well as a railway connection to Paris. Since then, Monaco's mild climate, scenery, and gambling facilities have contributed to the Principality's status as a tourist, destination and recreation center for the rich. In more recent years, Monaco has become a major banking center and has sought to diversify its economy into the services sector and small, high-value-added, non-polluting industries. Monaco is famous as a tax haven, the Principality has no personal income tax and low business taxes. Over 30% of the residents are millionaires, with real estate prices reaching €100,000 per square meter in 2018. Monaco is not formally a part of the European Union, but it participates in certain EU policies, including customs and border controls. Through its relationship with France, Monaco uses the euro as its sole currency, previously it used the French franc. Monaco joined the Council of Europe in 2004 and is a member of the Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie. It is also the host of the annual street circuit motor race, the Monaco Grand Prix, one of the original Grands Prix of Formula One. The Principality has a club football team, as Monaco, which competes in the French Ligue 1 and have become French champions on multiple occasions. A center of research into marine conservation, Monaco is home to one of the world's first protected marine habitats, an oceanographic museum, as well as the International Atomic Energy Agency Environment Labs, which is the only marine laboratory in the United Nations structure. Chapter 1 – History Monaco's name comes from the nearby 6th century BCE Phocaean Greek colony. Referred to by the Ligurians as Monoikos, 
from the Greek mu omicron nu omicron iota kappa omicron sigma, single house, from mu omicron nu omicron sigma alone, single plus omicron iota kappa omicron sigma house. According to an ancient myth, Hercules passed through the Monaco area, and turned away the previous gods. As a result, a temple was constructed there. Because this house of Hercules was the only temple in the area, the city was called Monoecos. It ended up in the hands of the Holy Roman Empire, which gave it to the Genoese. An ousted branch of a Genoese family, the Grimaldi, contested it for a hundred years before actually gaining control. Though the Republic of Genoa would last until the 19th century, they allowed the Grimaldi family to keep Monaco, and, likewise, both France and Spain left it alone for hundreds of years. France did not annex it until the French Revolution, but after the defeat of Napoleon it was put under the care of the Kingdom of Sardinia. In the 19th century, when Sardinia became a part of Italy, the region came under French influence but France allowed it to remain independent. Like France, Monaco was overrun by the Axis powers during the Second World War and for a short time was administered by Italy, then the Third Reich, before finally being liberated. Although the occupation lasted for just a short time, it resulted in the deportation of the Jewish population and execution of several resistance members from Monaco. Since then Monaco has been independent. It has taken some steps towards integration with the European Union. Chapter 1 Section 1 – Arrival of the Grimaldi Family Following a land grant from Emperor Henry VI in 1191, Monaco was refounded in 1215 as a colony of Genoa. Monaco was first ruled by a member of the House of Grimaldi in 1297, when Francesco Grimaldi, known as Milesia, and his men captured the fortress protecting the Rock of Monaco while dressed as Franciscan friars, a Monaco in Italian, although this is a coincidence as the area was already known by this name. Francesco, however, was evicted only a few years after by the Genoese forces, and the struggle over the rock continued for another century. The Grimaldi family was Genoese and the struggle was something of a family feud. However, the Genoese became engaged in other conflicts, and in the late 1300s Genoa lost Monaco in conflict with the crown of Aragon over Corsica. Aragon eventually became part of a united Spain, and other parts of the land grant came to be integrated piecemeal into other states. Chapter 1 Section 2, 1400-1800 In 1419, the Grimaldi family purchased Monaco from the crown of Aragon, and became the official and undisputed rulers of the Rock of Monaco. In 1612, Honoré II began to style himself Prince of Monaco. In the 1630s, he sought French protection against the Spanish forces and, in 1642, was received at the court of Louis XIII as a ducat pair étranger. The princes of Monaco thus became vassals of the French kings while at the same time remaining sovereign princes. Though successive princes and their families spent most of their lives in Paris, and intermarried with French and Italian nobilities, the House of Grimaldi is Italian. The Principality continued its existence as a protectorate of France until the French Revolution. Chapter 1 Section 3, 19th Century In 1793, revolutionary forces captured Monaco and until 1814 it was occupied by the French. The Principality was re-established in 1814 under the Grimaldis, only to be designated a protectorate of the Kingdom of Sardinia by the Congress of Vienna in 1815. Monaco remained in this position until 1860 when, by the Treaty of Turin, the Sardinian forces pulled out of the Principality, the surrounding county of Nice was ceded to France. Monaco became a French protectorate once again. Before this time there was unrest in Menton and Roquebrune, where the townspeople had become weary of heavy taxation by the Grimaldi family. They declared their independence, hoping for annexation by Sardinia. France protested. The unrest continued until Charles III of Monaco gave up his claim to the two mainland towns that had been ruled by the Grimaldi family for over 500 years. These were ceded to France in return for 4,100,000 francs. 
The transfer and Monaco's sovereignty were recognized by the franco mornegosque Treaty of 1861. In 1869, the Principality stopped collecting income tax from its residents, an indulgence the Grimaldi family could afford to entertain thanks solely to the extraordinary success of the casino. This made Monaco not only a playground for the rich, but a favored place for them to live. Chapter 1 Section 4, 20th Century Until the Morlagos Revolution of 1910 forced the adoption of the 1911 Constitution of Monaco, the Princes of Monaco, were absolute rulers. The new constitution, however, barely reduced the autocratic rule of the Grimaldi family and Prince Albert I soon suspended it during the First World War. In July 1918, a new franco mornegosque treaty was signed, providing for limited French protection over Monaco. The treaty, endorsed in 1919 by the Treaty of Versailles, established that Mornegosque international policy would be aligned with French political, military and economic interests. It also resolved the Monaco succession crisis. In 1943, the Italian army invaded and occupied Monaco, forming a fascist administration. In September 1943, after Mussolini's fall from power, the German Wehrmacht occupied Italy and Monaco, and the Nazi deportation of the Jewish population began. René Blum, the prominent French Jew who founded the Ballet de l'Opera in Monte Carlo, was arrested in his Paris home and held in the Drancy deportation camp outside the French capital before being transported to Auschwitz, where he was later killed. Bloom's colleague Raoul Gunsberg, the director of the Opera de Monte Carlo, helped by the French resistance, escaped arrest and fled to Switzerland. In August 1944, the Germans executed René Baghini, Joseph Henri Lajeur and Esther Poggio, who were resistance leaders. Rainier III, who ruled until 2005, succeeded to the throne on the death of his grandfather, Prince Louis II, in 1949. On 19 April 1956, Prince Rainier married the American actress Grace Kelly, an event that was widely televised and covered in the popular press, focusing the world's attention on the tiny principality. A 1962 amendment to the Constitution abolished capital punishment, provided for women's suffrage, and established a Supreme Court of Monaco to guarantee fundamental liberties. In 1963, a crisis developed when Charles de Gaulle blockaded Monaco angered by its status as a tax haven for wealthy French citizens. The 2014 film Grace of Monaco is loosely based on this crisis. In 1993, the Principality of Monaco became a member of the United Nations, with full voting rights. Chapter 1 Section 5, 21st Century In 2002, a new treaty between France and Monaco specified that, should there be no heirs to carry on the Grimaldi dynasty, the Principality would still remain an independent nation rather than revert to France. Monaco's military defense, however, is still the responsibility of France. On 31 March 2005, Rainier III, who was too ill to exercise his duties, relinquished them to his only son and heir, Albert. He died six days later, after a reign of 56 years, with his son succeeding him as Albert II, sovereign prince of Monaco. Following a period of official mourning, Prince Albert II formally assumed the princely crown on 12 July 2005, in a celebration that began with a solemn mass at St. Nicholas Cathedral, where his father had been buried three months earlier. His accession to the Mornegosk throne was a two-step event with a further ceremony, drawing heads of state for an elaborate reception, held on 18 November 2005, at the historic Prince's Palace in Monaco Ville. On 27 August, 2015, Albert II apologized for Monaco's role during World War II in facilitating the deportation of a total of 90 Jews and resistance fighters, of whom only nine survived. We committed the irreparable in handing over to the neighboring authorities women, men and a child who had taken refuge with us to escape the persecutions they had suffered in France, Albert said at a ceremony in which a monument to the victims was unveiled at the Monaco Cemetery. In distress, they came specifically to take shelter with us, thinking they would find neutrality. In 2015, 
Monaco unanimously approved a modest land reclamation expansion intended primarily to accommodate desperately needed housing, and a small green-slash-park area. Monaco had previously considered an expansion in 2008, but had called it off. The plan is for about six hectares of apartment buildings, parks, shops and offices to a land value of about 1 billion euros. The development will be adjacent to the Lavotto district and also will include a small marina. There were four main proposals, and the final mix of use will be finalized as the development progresses. The name for the new district is Ancy du Portier. On the 3rd of September 2020, the first Monegosque satellite, OSM-1 Cicero, was launched into space from French Guiana aboard a Vega rocket. The satellite was built in Monaco by Orbital Solutions Monaco. Chapter 2 Government Chapter 2 Section 1 Security The wider defense of the nation is provided by France. Monaco has no navy or air force, but on both a per capita and per area basis, Monaco has one of the largest police forces and police presences in the world. Its police includes a special unit which operates patrol and surveillance boats jointly with the military. Police forces in Monaco are commanded by a French officer. There is also a small military force. This consists of a bodyguard unit for the prince and his palace in Monaco Ville called the Compagnie des Carabiniers du Prince, together with the militarized, armed fire and civil defense corps it forms Monaco's total forces. The Compagnie des Carabiniers du Prince was created by Prince Honoré IV in 1817 for the protection of the principality and the princely family. The company numbers exactly 116 officers and men, while the non-commissioned officers and soldiers are local, the officers have generally served in the French army. In addition to their guard duties as described, the Carabinier patrol the principality's beaches and coastal waters. Chapter 3 – Geography Monaco is a sovereign city-state, with five quarters and ten wards, located on the French Riviera in Western Europe. It is bordered by France's Alpes Maritimes department on three sides, with one side bordering the Mediterranean Sea. Its centre is about 16 kilometres from Italy and only 13 kilometres northeast of Nice. It has an area of 2.1 square kilometres, or 208 hectares, and a population of 38,400, making Monaco the second smallest and the most densely populated country in the world. The country has a land border of only 5.47 km, a coastline of 3.83 km, a maritime claim that extends 22.2 km, and a width that varies between 1,700 and 349 meters. The highest point in the country is at the access to the Patio Palace residential building on the Chemin des Rivoires from the D6007 at 164.4 meters above sea level. The lowest point in the country is the Mediterranean Sea. St. Jean Brook is the longest flowing body of water, around 0.19 km in length, and Fontiel is the largest lake, approximately half a hectare in area. Monaco's most populated quartier is Monte Carlo, and the most populated ward is Lavotto slash Bas Moulin. After a recent expansion of Port Hercules, Monaco's total area grew to 2.08 square kilometers or 208 hectares. Subsequently, new plans have been approved to extend the district of Fontiel by 0.08 square kilometers or 8 hectares, with land reclaimed from the Mediterranean Sea. Land reclamation projects include extending the district of Fontiel. There are two ports in Monaco, Port Hercules, and Port Fontville. There is a neighboring French port called Cap Dale that is near Monaco. Monaco's only natural resource is fishing, with almost the entire country being an urban area, Monaco lacks any sort of commercial agriculture industry. Chapter 3 Section 1 – Administrative Divisions Monaco is the second smallest country by area in the world, only Vatican City is smaller. Monaco, is the most densely populated country in the world. The state consists of only one municipality, the municipality of Monaco. There is no geographical distinction between the state and city of Monaco, 
although responsibilities of the government and of the municipality are different. According to the Constitution of 1911, the Principality was subdivided into three municipalities. Monaco Ville, the old city and seat of government of the Principality on a rocky promontory extending into the Mediterranean, known as the Rock of Monaco, or simply the Rock. Monte Carlo, the principal residential and resort area with the Monte Carlo Casino in the east and northeast. La Condamine, the southwestern section including the port area, Port Hercules. The municipalities were merged into one in 1917, and they were accorded the status of wards or courtiers thereafter. Fontville was added as a fourth ward, a newly constructed area claimed from the sea in the 1970s. Monaghetti became the fifth ward, created from part of La Condamine. Lavotto became the sixth ward, created from part of Monte Carlo. La Rousse St. Roman became the seventh ward, also created from part of Monte Carlo. Subsequently, three additional wards were created. St. Michel, created from part of Monte Carlo. La Colle, created from part of La Condamine. Les Rivoires, also created from part of La Condamine. An additional ward was planned by new land reclamation to be settled beginning in 2014 but Prince Albert II announced in his 2009 New Year speech that he had ended plans due to the economic climate at the time. However, Prince Albert II in mid-2010 firmly restarted the program. In 2015, a new development called Ancy du Portier was announced. Chapter 3 Section 1 Subsection 2 Traditional Quarters and Modern Geographic Areas The four traditional quarters of Monaco are Monaco Ville, La Condamine, Monte Carlo, and Fontville. However, the suburb of Monaghetti, the high-level part of La Condamine, is generally seen today as an effective fifth quartier of Monaco, having a very distinct atmosphere and topography when compared with low-level La Condamine. Chapter 3 Section 1 Subsection 3 Wards Monaco is divided into 10 wards, with their official numbers, either Fontville 2 or La Portiere would become the effective 11th ward, if built. Note, for statistical purposes, the wards of Monaco are further subdivided into 178 city blocks, which are comparable to the census blocks in the United States. Other possible expansions are La Portiere, a project relaunched in 2012. Another possibility was Fontville 2 development to commence in 2013. Chapter 3 Section 2 Architecture Monaco exhibits a wide range of architecture, but the Principality's signature style, particularly in Monte Carlo, is that of the Belle Epoque. It finds its most florid expression in the 1878-9 Casino, and the Salle Garnier created by Charles Garnier and Jules Dutroux. Decorative elements include turrets, balconies, pinnacles, multicolored ceramics, and caryatids. These were blended to create a picturesque fantasy of pleasure and luxury, and an alluring expression of how Monaco sought and still seeks to portray itself. This capriccio of French, Italian, and Spanish elements were incorporated into hacienda villas and apartments. Following major development in the 1970s, Prince Rainier III banned high-rise development in the Principality. His successor, Prince Albert II, overturned this sovereign order. In recent years the accelerating demolition of Monaco's architectural heritage, including its single-family villas, has created dismay. The Principality, has no heritage protection legislation. Chapter 4, Climate Monaco, has a hot summer Mediterranean climate, with strong maritime influences, with some resemblances to the oceanic climate, and the humid subtropical climate. As a result, it has balmy warm, dry summers and mild, rainy winters. The winters are very mild considering the city's latitude, being as mild as locations located much further south in the Mediterranean basin. Cool and rainy interludes can interrupt the dry summer season, the average length of which is also shorter. Summer afternoons are infrequently hot as the atmosphere is temperate because of constant sea breezes. 
On the other hand, the nights are very mild, due to the fairly high temperature of the sea in summer. Generally, temperatures do not drop below 20 degrees Celsius in this season. In the winter, frosts and snowfalls are extremely rare and generally occur once or twice every 10 years. On 27 February 2018, both Monaco and Monte Carlo experienced snowfall. Chapter 5, Economy Monaco has the world's highest GDP nominal per capita at $185,742, GDP PPP per capita at $132,571 and GNI per capita at $183,150. It also has an unemployment rate of 2%, with over 48,000 workers who commute from France and Italy each day. According to the CIA World Factbook, Monaco has the world's lowest poverty rate, and the highest number of millionaires and billionaires per capita in the world. For the fourth year in a row Monaco in 2012 had the world's most expensive real estate market, at $58,300 per square meter. The world's most expensive apartment is located in Monaco, a penthouse at the Odeon Tower valued at $335 million according to Forbes in 2000, and 16.1 of Monaco's main sources of income is tourism. Each year many foreigners are attracted to its casino and pleasant climate. It has also become a major banking center, holding over 100 billion euros worth of funds. Banks in Monaco specialize in providing private banking, asset and wealth management services. Monaco, is the only place in Europe where credit card points are not redeemable. Hotel points are not able to be accumulated nor are transactions recorded, allowing for an increase in privacy that is sought by many of the locals. The Principality has successfully sought to diversify its economic base into services and small, high-value-added, non-polluting industries, such as cosmetics and biothermics. The state retains monopolies in numerous sectors, including tobacco and the postal service. The telephone network used to be fully owned by the state, it now owns only 45%, while the remaining 55% is owned by both cable and wireless communications and Compagnie Mornigosk de Bonk. It is still, however, a monopoly. Living standards are high, roughly comparable to those in prosperous French metropolitan areas. Monaco, is not a member of the European Union. However, it is very closely linked via customs union with France and, as such, its currency is the same as that of France, the euro. Before 2002, Monaco minted its own coins, the Mornay Gosque franc. Monaco, has acquired the right to mint euro coins with Mornay Gosque designs on its national side. Chapter 5 Section 1, Gambling Industry the plan for casino gambling was drafted during the reign of Florestan I in 1846. Under Louis-Philippe's petite bourgeois regime, however, a dignitary such as the Prince of Monaco, was not allowed to operate a gambling house. All this changed in the dissolute Second French Empire under Napoleon III. The House of Grimaldi was in dire need of money. The towns of Menton and Rockrune, which had been the main sources of income for the Grimaldi family for centuries, were now accustomed to a much improved standard of living and lenient taxation thanks to the Sardinian intervention and clamoured for financial and political concession, even for separation. The Grimaldi family hoped the newly legal industry would help alleviate the difficulties they faced, above all the crushing debt the family had incurred, but Monaco's first casino would not be ready to operate until after Charles III assumed the throne in 1856. The grantee of the princely concession was unable to attract enough business to sustain the operation and, after relocating the casino several times, sold the concession to French casino magnates Francois and Louis Blanc for 1.7 million francs. The Blancs had already set up a highly successful casino in Bad Homburg in the Grand Duchy of Hesse Homburg, a small German principality comparable to Monaco, and quickly petitioned Charles III to rename a depressed seaside area known as Les Spielugues to Monte Carlo. 
They then constructed their casino in the newly dubbed Monte Carlo and cleared out the area's less than savory elements to make the neighborhood surrounding the establishment more conducive to tourism. The Blancs opened Le Grand Casino de Monte Carlo in 1858, and the casino benefited from the tourist traffic the newly built French railway system created. Due to the combination of the casino and the railroads, Monaco finally recovered from the previous half-century of economic slump and the principality's success attracted other businesses. In the years following the casino's opening, Monaco founded its Oceanographic Museum and the Monte Carlo Opera House, 46 hotels were built and the number of jewelers operating in Monaco increased by nearly five-fold. In an apparent effort to not overtax citizens, it was decreed that the Mornegosk citizens were prohibited from entering the casino unless they were employees. By 1869, the casino was making such a vast sum of money that the principality could afford to end tax collection from the Monegasks, a masterstroke that was to attract affluent residents from all over Europe in a policy that still exists today. Today, Societe des Bains de Mer de Monaco, which owns Le Grand Casino, still operates in the original building that the Blancs constructed and has since been joined by several other casinos, including the Le Casino Café de Paris, the Monte Carlo Sporting Club and Casino, and the Sun Casino. The most recent addition in Monte Carlo is the Monte Carlo Bay Casino, which sits on four hectares of the Mediterranean Sea and, among other things offers 145 slot machines, all equipped with ticket in, ticket out, it is the first Mediterranean casino to use this technology. Chapter 5 Section 2 – Taxes Monaco has a 20% VAT plus high social insurance taxes, payable by both employers and employees. The employer's contributions are between 28% and 40% of gross salary, including benefits, and employees pay a further 10% to 14%. Monaco has never levied income tax on individuals, and foreigners are thus able to use it as a tax haven from their own country's high taxes, because as an independent country, Monaco is not obliged to pay taxes to other countries. The absence of a personal income tax has attracted many wealthy tax refugee residents from European countries, who derive the majority of their income from activity outside Monaco. Celebrities, such as Formula One drivers, attract most of the attention but the vast majority are lesser known business people. However, due to a bilateral treaty with France, French citizens who reside in Monaco must still pay income and wealth taxes to France. The principality also actively discourages the registration of foreign corporations, charging a 33% corporation tax on profits unless they can show that at least three quarters of turnover is generated within Monaco. Unlike classic tax havens, Monaco does not offer offshore financial services. In 1998, the Center for Tax Policy and Administration, part of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, issued a first report on the consequences of the financial systems of known tax havens. Monaco did not appear in the list of these territories until 2004 when the OECD became indignant regarding the Mornegosk situation and denounced it in a report, along with Andorra, Liechtenstein, Liberia, and the Marshall Islands. The report underlined Monaco's lack of cooperation regarding financial information disclosure and availability. Later, Monaco overcame the OECD's objections and was removed from the grey list of uncooperative jurisdictions. In 2009, Monaco went a step further and secured a place on the whitelist after signing 12 information exchange treaties with other jurisdictions. In 2000, the Financial Action Task Force on Money Laundering stated, the anti-money laundering system in Monaco is comprehensive. However, difficulties have been encountered with Monaco by countries in international investigations on serious crimes that appear to be linked also with tax matters. In addition, the FIU of Monaco suffers a great lack of adequate resources. The authorities of Monaco have stated that they will provide additional resources to SICFIN. Also in 2000, a report by French socialist MPs Arnaud Montebourg and Vincent Palin stated that Monaco had relaxed policies with respect to money laundering including within its casino, 
and that the government of Monaco had been placing political pressure on the judiciary so that alleged crimes were not being properly investigated. In its progress report of 2005, the International Monetary Fund identified Monaco, along with 36 other territories, as a tax haven, but in its FAT report of the same year it took a positive view of Monaco's measures against money laundering. The Council of Europe also decided to issue reports naming tax havens. 22 territories, including Monaco, were thus evaluated between 1998 and 2000 on a first round. Monaco was the only territory that refused to perform the second round, between 2001 and 2003, whereas the 21 other territories had planned to implement the third and final round, planned between 2005 and 2007. Chapter 5 Section 3 Numismatics Monaco issued its own coins in various devaluations connected to the AQ already in the 17th century, but its first decimal coins of the Mornegosk franc were issued in 1837 continued until 2001. Although Monaco is not a European Union member, it is allowed to use the euro as its currency by arrangement with the Council of the European Union, it is also granted the right to use its own designs on the national side of the euro coins which was introduced in 2002. In preparation for this date, the minting of the new euro coins started as early as 2001. Like Belgium, Finland, France, the Netherlands, and Spain, Monaco decided to put the minting date on its coins. This is why the first euro coins from Monaco have the year 2001 on them, instead of 2002, like the other countries of the Eurozone that decided to put the year of first circulation on their coins. Three different designs were selected for the Mornay Gosk coins. However, in 2006, the design was changed after the death of ruling Prince Rainier to have the effigy of Prince Albert. Monaco also mints collector's coins, with face value ranging from 5 euros to 100 euros. These coins are a legacy of an old national practice of minting silver and gold commemorative coins. Unlike normal issues, these coins are not legal tender in all the Eurozone. The same practice concerning commemorative coins is exercised by all Eurozone countries. Chapter 6 Population Chapter 6 Section 1 Demographics Monaco's total population was 38,400 in 2015, and estimated by the United Nations to be 39,511 as of July 1, 2021. Monaco's population is unusual in that the native Monégasques are a minority in their own country, the largest group are French nationals at 28.4%, followed by Monégasque, Italian, British, Belgian, German, Swiss and US nationals. Citizens of Monaco, whether born in the country or naturalized, are called Mornegosk. Monaco has the world's highest life expectancy at nearly 90 years. Chapter 6, Section 2, Language The main and official language of Monaco is French, while Italian is spoken by the Principalities, sizable community from Italy. French and Italian are in fact more spoken in the Principality today than Mornegosque, its historic vernacular language. A dialect of Ligurian, Mornegosque is not recognized as an official language, nevertheless, some signage appears in both French and Mornegosque, and the language is taught in schools. English is also used. The Grimaldi, princes of Monaco, have Ligurian origin, thus, the traditional national language is Mornegosque, a variety of Ligurian, now spoken by only a minority of residents and as a common second language by many native residents. In Monaco Ville, street signs are printed in both French and Mornegosque. Chapter 7, Religion Chapter 7 Section 1, Christianity Christians comprise a total of 86% of Monaco's population. According to Monaco 2012 International Religious Freedom Report, Roman Catholic Christians are Monaco's largest religious group, followed by Protestant Christians. The report states that there are two Protestant churches, an Anglican church and a Reformed church. 
There are also various other evangelical Protestant communities that gather periodically. Chapter 7 Section 1 Subsection 2 Catholicism The official religion is Catholicism, with freedom of other religions guaranteed by the Constitution. There are five Catholic parish churches in Monaco and one cathedral, which is the seat of the Archbishop of Monaco. The diocese, which has existed since the mid-19th century, was raised to a non-metropolitan archbishopric in 1981 as the Archdiocese of Monaco and remains exempt. The patron saint is Saint Divota. Chapter 7 Section 1 Subsection 3 Anglican Communion There is one Anglican church, located in the Avenue de Grande Bretagne in Monte Carlo. The church was dedicated in 1925. In 2007 this had a formal membership of 135 Anglican residents in the Principality but was also serving a considerably larger number of Anglicans temporarily in the country, mostly as tourists. The church site also accommodates an English-language library of over 3,000 books. The church is part of the Anglican Diocese in Europe. Chapter 7 Section 1 Subsection 4 Reformed Church of Monaco there is one Reformed Church, which meets in a building located in Rue Louis Notari. The building dates from 1958-59. The church is affiliated with the United Protestant Church of France, a group that incorporates the former Reformed Church of France. Through this affiliation with EPUF, the church is part of the World Communion of Reformed Churches. The church acts as a host church to some other Christian communities, allowing them to use its building. Chapter 7 Section 1 Subsection 5 Charismatic Episcopal Church The Monaco Parish of the Charismatic Episcopal Church dates from 2017 and meets in the Reformed Church's Rue Louis Notari building. Chapter 7 Section 1 Subsection 6 Christian Fellowship The Monaco Christian Fellowship, formed in 1996, meets in the Reformed Church's Rue Louis Notari building. Chapter 7 Section 1 Subsection 7 Greek Orthodoxy Monaco's 2012 International Religious Freedom Report states that there is one Greek Orthodox Church in Monaco. Chapter 7 Section 1 Subsection 8 Russian Orthodox The Russian Orthodox Parish of the Holy Royal Martyrs meets in the Reformed Church's Rue Louis Notari building. Chapter 7 Section 2, Judaism The Association Culturelle Israelite to Monaco is a converted house containing a synagogue, a community Hebrew school, and a kosher food shop, located in Monte Carlo. The community mainly consists of retirees from Britain and North Africa. Half of the Jewish population is Sephardic, mainly from North Africa, while the other half is Ashkenazi. Chapter 7 Section 3, Islam. The Muslim population of Monaco consists of about 280 people, most of whom are residents, not citizens. The majority of the Muslim population of Monaco are Arabs, though there is a Turkish minority as well. Monaco does not have any official mosques. Chapter 8, Sports. Chapter 8 Section 1, Formula 1. Since 1929, the Monaco Grand Prix has been held annually in the streets of Monaco. It is widely considered to be one of the most prestigious automobile races in the world. The erection of the Circuit de Monaco takes six weeks to complete and the removal after the race takes another three weeks. The circuit is narrow and tight and its tunnel, tight corners and many elevation changes make it perhaps the most demanding Formula One track. Driver Nelson Piquet compared driving the circuit to riding a bicycle around your living room. Despite the challenging nature of the course it has only had two fatalities, Luigi Fagiola who died from injuries received in practice for the 1952 Monaco Grand Prix and Lorenzo Bandini, who crashed, burned and died three days later from his injuries in 1967. Two other drivers had lucky escapes after they crashed into the harbour, the most famous being Alberto Ascari in the 1955 Monaco Grand Prix and Paul Hawkins, during the 1965 race. In 2020, 
the Monaco Grand Prix was cancelled for the first time since 1954 because of the global COVID-19 pandemic. Chapter 8 Section 2 Mornegosk Formula One Drivers There are five Formula One drivers from Monaco. Charles Leclerc Robert Dornbos Olivier Barretta André Testut Louis Chiron Chapter 8 Section 3, Formula E Starting in 2015 Formula E started racing biennially with the historic Grand Prix of Monaco on the Monaco E Prix and used a shorter configuration of the full Formula One circuit, keeping it around Port Hercules until 2021. Rocket Venturi Racing, is the only motor racing team based in the Principality, headquartered in Fontville. The Mark competes in Formula E, and was one of the founding teams of the Fully Electric Championship. Managed by former racing drivers Susie Wolfe and Jerome D'Ambrosio, the outfit holds 11 podiums in the series to date including three victories. 1997 Formula One World Champion Jacques Villeneuve and 11-time Formula One race winner Felipe Massa have raced for the team previously. 10-time Macau winner and 2021 Vice World Champion Eduardo Mortaren, and Season 3 Formula E Champion Lucas Di Grassi currently race for the team. Chapter 8 Section 4, Monte Carlo Rally Since 1911 part of the Monte Carlo Rally has been held in the Principality, originally held at the behest of Prince Albert I. Like the Grand Prix, the rally is organized by Automobile Club de Monaco. It has long been considered to be one of the toughest and most prestigious events in rallying and from 1973 to 2000, and 8 was the opening round of the World Rally Championship. From 2009 until 2011, the rally served as the opening round of the Intercontinental Rally Challenge. The rally returned to the WRC calendar in 2012, and has been held annually since. Due to Monaco's limited size, all but the ending of the rally is held on French territory. Chapter 8 Section 5, Football Monaco hosts two major football teams in the Principality, the Men's Football Club, as Monaco FC, and the Women's Football Club, OS Monaco. As Monaco plays at the Stade Louis II and competes in Ligue 1, the first division of French football. The club is historically one of the most successful clubs in the French League, having won Ligue 1 eight times and competed at the top level for all but six seasons since 1953. The club reached the 2004 UEFA Champions League final, with a team that included Dado Prasor, Fernando Morientz, Jerome Rothen, Aki Zikos, and Ludovic Juli, but lost 3-0 to Portuguese team FC Porto. French World Cup winners Thierry Henry, Fabien Barthez, David Trezeguet, and Kylian Mbappé have played for the club. The Stade Louis II also played host to the annual UEFA Super Cup from 1998 to 2012 between the winners of the UEFA Champions League and the UEFA Europa League. The women's team, Urs Monaco, competes in the women's French Football League system. The club plays in the local regional league deep down in the league system. It once played in the Division I Feminine, in the 1994-95 season, but was quickly relegated. The Monaco national football team represents the nation in association football, and is controlled by the Monégosque Football Federation, the governing body for football in Monaco. However, Monaco is one of only two sovereign states in Europe that is not a member of UEFA and so does not take part in any UEFA European Football Championship or FIFA World Cup competitions. They are instead affiliated with CONIFA, where they compete against other national teams that are not FIFA members. The team plays its home matches in the Stade Louis II. Chapter 8 Section 6, Rugby Monaco's national rugby team, as of April 2019, is 101st in the World Rugby Rankings. Chapter 8 Section 7, Basketball Multisport club as Monaco owns as Monaco Basket which was founded in 1928. They play in the top-tier European Basketball League, the Euro League, and the French Top Flight, 
the LNB Pro A they have three Pro A Leaders Cup, two Pro B, and one NM1 Championship. They play in Sal Gaston Medsun, which is part of Stade Louis II. Chapter 8 Section 8, Professional Boxing Due in part to its position both as a tourist and gambling center, Monaco has staged major professional boxing world title and non-title fights from time to time, those include the Carlos Monzon vs Nino Benvenuti rematch, Monzon's rematch with Emil Griffith, Monzon's two classic fights with Rodrigo Valdez, Davy Moore vs Wilfredo Benitez, the double knockout ending classic between Leroy Murphy and Shizanda Mutti, and Julio Cesar Chavez, Senior vs Rocky Lockridge. All of the aforementioned contests took place at the first Stade Louis II or the second Stade Louis II stadiums. Chapter 8 Section 9 Other Sports The Monte Carlo Masters is held annually in neighboring Roquebrune Cap Martin, France, as a professional tournament for men as part of tennis's ATP Masters series. The tournament has been held since 1897. Golf's Monte Carlo Open was also held at the Monte Carlo Golf Club at Montagel in France between 1984 and 1992. Monaco, has a National Davis Cup team, which plays in the European-slash-African zone. Monaco has also competed in the Olympic Games, although, no athlete from Monaco has ever won an Olympic medal. At the Youth Olympic Winter Games, Monaco won a bronze medal in bobsleigh. The 2009 Tour de France, the world's premier cycle race, started from Monaco with a 15km closed-circuit individual time trial starting and finishing there on the first day, and the 182km second leg starting there on the following day and ending in Brignol, France. Monaco has also staged part of the Global Champions Tour. In 2009, the Monaco stage of the Global Champions Tour took place between 25 and 27 June. The Monaco Marathon is the only marathon in the world to pass through three countries, those of Monaco, France, and Italy, before the finish at the Stade Louis II. The Monaco Ironman 70.3 Triathlon Race is an annual event with over 1,000 athletes competing and attracts top professional athletes from around the world. The race includes a 1.9km swim, 90km bike ride and 21.1km run. Since 1993, the headquarters of the International Association of Athletics Federations, the world governing body of athletics, is located in Monaco. An IAF Diamond League meet is annually held at Stade Louis II. A municipal sports complex, the Rainier 3 Nautical Stadium in the Port Hercules district consists of a heated saltwater Olympic size swimming pool, diving boards, and a slide. The pool is converted into an ice rink from December to March. In addition to Formula One, the Circuit de Monaco hosts several support series, including FIA Formula Two and Porsche Super Cup. It has in the past also hosted Formula Three and other Formula Junior programs. From 10 to 12 July 2014 Monaco inaugurated the Solar One Monte Carlo Cup, a series of ocean races exclusively for solar-powered boats. Comma the women team of the Chess Club C Monte Carlo won the European Chess Club Cup several times. Chapter 9, Culture Chapter 9 Section 1, Cuisine the cuisine of Monaco is a Mediterranean cuisine shaped by the cooking style of Provence and the influences of nearby northern Italian and southern French cooking, in addition to Monaco's own culinary traditions. Chapter 9 Section 2, Music Monaco, has an opera house, a symphony orchestra, and a classical ballet company. Monaco participated regularly in the Eurovision Song Contest between 1959 to 1979 and 2004 to 2006, winning in 1971, although none of the artists participating for the Principality was originally Monégosque. Chapter 9 Section 3, Visual Arts Monaco has a National Museum of Contemporary Visual Art at the new National Museum of Monaco. In 1997, the Audiovisual Institute of Monaco was founded aimed to preserve audiovisual archives and show how the Principality of Monaco is represented in cinema. 
The country also has numerous works of public art, statues, museums, and memorials. Chapter 9 Section 4 Museums in Monaco Monaco Top Cars Collection Napoleon Museum Oceanographic Museum Chapter 9 Section 5 Events, Festivals and Shows The Principality of Monaco hosts major international events, such as International Circus Festival of Monte Carlo Mondial du Theatre Monte Carlo Television Festival Chapter 9 Section 6 Bread Festival Monaco also has an annual bread festival on the 17th of September every year. Chapter 10 Education Chapter 10 Section 1 Primary and Secondary Schools Monaco has 10 state operated schools including seven nursery and primary schools, one secondary school, College Charles III, one lycée that provides general and technological training, Lycée Albert I Er, and one lycée that provides vocational and hotel training, Lycée Technique et Hotelier de Monte Carlo. There are also two grant-aided denominational private schools, Institution Francois de Cies Nicolas Barr and École des Sœurs Dominicains, and one international school, the International School of Monaco, founded in 1994. Chapter 10 Section 2, Colleges and Universities There is one university located in Monaco, namely the International University of Monaco, an English-language university specializing in business education and operated by the Institut des Hautes Etudes Economiques et Commercialise Group. Chapter 11, Flag The flag of Monaco, is one of the world's oldest national flag designs. Adopted by Monaco on 4 April 1881, it is almost identical to the flag of Indonesia except for the ratio of height to width. Chapter 12, Transport The Monaco-Monte Carlo station is served by the SNCF, the French National Rail System. The Monaco heliport provides helicopter service to the closest airport, Côte d'Azur Airport in Nice, France. The Monaco Bus Company covers all the tourist attractions, museums, exotic garden, business centers, and the casino or the Louis II Stadium. Chapter 13, Relations with Other Countries Monaco is so old that it has outlived many of the nations and institutions that it has had relations with. The Crown of Aragon and Republic of Genoa became a part of other countries, as did the Kingdom of Sardinia. Honoré II, Prince of Monaco secured recognition of his independent sovereignty from Spain in 1633, and then from Louis XIII of France by the Treaty of Peron. Monaco made a special agreement with France in 1963 in which French customs laws apply in Monaco, and its territorial waters. Monaco uses the euro but is not a member of the European Union. Monaco shares a 6-kilometer border with France but also has about 2 km of coastline with the Mediterranean Sea. Two important agreements that support Monaco's independence from France include the franco monégosque Treaty of 1861 and the French Treaty of 1918. The United States CIA Factbook records 1419 as the year of Monaco's independence. There are two embassies in Monaco, those of France and Italy. There are about another 30 or so consulates. By the 21st century Monaco maintained embassies in Belgium, France, Germany, the Vatican, Italy, Spain, Switzerland, United Kingdom and the United States. In the year 2000 nearly two-thirds of the residents of Monaco were foreigners. In 2015 the immigrant population was estimated at 60% however, it is reported to be difficult to gain citizenship in Monaco, or at least in relative number there are not many people who do so. In 2015 an immigration rate of about 4 people per 1000 was noted, or about 100 to 150 people a year. The population of Monaco went from 35,000 in 2008 to 36,000 in 2013, and of that about 20% were native Monégosque. 
A recurring issue Monaco encounters with other countries is the attempt by foreign nationals to use Monaco to avoid paying taxes in their own country. Monaco actually collects a number of taxes including a 20% VAT and 33% on companies unless they make over 75% of their income inside Monaco. Monaco does not allow dual citizenship, but does have multiple paths to citizenship including by declaration and naturalization. In many cases the key issue for obtaining citizenship, rather than attaining residency in Monaco, is the person's ties to their departure country. For example, French citizens must still pay taxes to France even if they live full-time in Monaco unless they resided in the country before 1962 for at least five years. In the early 1960s there was some tension between France and Monaco over taxation. There are no border formalities entering or leaving France. For visitors, a souvenir passport stamp is available on request at Monaco's tourist office. This is located on the far side of the gardens that face the casino.